So I've got a Yamaha DX7. This is just a quick video on fixing a bad chip and putting in a new battery compartment. Um, as you see, DX7 here, uh, if I switch it on, it does fine. The only issue here is that every now and again it kind of goes into a sort of a, a funny state where it kind of forgets its voices and the voices go a bit funny. So um, the way to get into a DX7 um, self-test mode is you press the function 16 and 32 in that order and you get into the test mode entry. So are you sure? Yes. And there's a couple of test levels. That's where it's doing the LED and the LCD. Um, and we're not interested until we get to test 9. And here we see error, RAM IC20. So if we open up the box, well, it's still live so I'm going to be a bit careful on the right hand side. Um, and we have a look inside the DX7. We can see just underneath here and just it's going to require the uh, keyboard to be removed is IC20 which is um, one of these, it's a, a M5M 5118P15L um, RAM chip. So I bought one of those from from China. Um, there's a company in the UK that's uh, selling them, but they were three times as expensive. So I um, had to wait a, a few weeks longer, but that's fine. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take this off now and we'll replace that. I'm going to also lift the board. And if you can see here, there's a bit of a bodge job I did uh, to hold in the, the little uh, button cell. So I've got a, an old button cell holder from, it's an old laptop, so I think that will be able to um, uh, solder that in properly, but I think it's going to require me to lift the whole board. So um, I'll get it out, undo the screws, and uh, I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, so um, I've removed the four screws at the bottom underneath the key bed, and there's also one screw on the right-hand side and two here, which will allow me now to lift the key bed out. Um, so I'm going to have to take off the flat flex here. Um, I think that just yet yeah, that pulls out, and we've got two. It's very nicely uh, laid out insofar that you can really service this because everything just unclips. There we go. Two clips on the side there. Oh, there's a ground. Missing a ground and oh yes. We'll just put this down like this. Um, unscrew the ground on this side. There we go. That's the ground screw. And we've got one more. Whoops, it ain't good. just to come out. And then that is the key bed out. Looking very nice. Oh. Okay, so we're now down to taking the key bed out. Um, it's not too grimy here. It's in very good nick, this particular unit. Um, all the keys feel really sharp and responsive. Uh, like they haven't been pressed too many times. Um, so next thing is we're going to get this board out. There we go. Remove that. This board's going to require a number of these connectors to be taken out, um, and then we can solder in that into there. I expect that the holes will align, and I don't think they are actually. Blast. Okay, well, we're going to have to think about what we can do here. So I've uh, taken the board out, um, there's 
oh, there's many, many um, connectors here, all along around the back, um, and oh, five or six screws. And um, I've opted to actually do an off the board solution. So I've got my um, battery holder there, and I've used the wires from a previous fix that I did, um, and I've decided to make it off board because. I could have desoldered that, but the the connections were not the right space apart, and um, uh, and I didn't want to bodge it and cause myself further issues. So um, so I've done that. The, the board's really quite difficult to get out because you've got two of these connectors here, which uh, two of these stands here, which the board has to actually s um, slide underneath. So you have to remove the cable snake part here and. Do the reverse, which is to just slip underneath there, carefully not catching any of the connectors and not duffing up any of your components at the same time. So it's taking a little bit of care, but still get down there, whoops. Um, and now it's just a question of getting the right cables and putting them in the right slots. So uh, I'll do that now. All the connectors are back in. Um, I've, uh, I've fixed the battery holder in there. And now I'm just about to take uh, this RAM chip and just lift it up. Now it's, it's a difficult exercise. and I know you can get chip holders, but I've always done it with a wooden non-metallic implement and just gently raised it either side. Let's continue. Oops, that's it, bit of left and right. Oopsie daisy. The danger is of course bending the leads but obviously this is the one that's coming out. So um, that's what we've got coming out. And just about to open up the packet here, and this is the one that we're replacing it with. So, uh, let's take it out there. I keep touching the case to earth myself. Um, if I can just show you there, there's the replacement. And uh, just put this back. Same orientation, remember. Now I'm just going to have to roll the pins slightly. Find, um, just show you this. If you just roll the pins ever so gently backwards, because sometimes they're a bit too splayed to get into the uh, socket holder, just gently tip it back. Doing it on that uh, piece of, of foam just helps it a little bit. Um, still a bit, still a bit far out. Um, I might try it against a harder surface. Get a little bit more purchase. Um, so it's just had a camera at the moment. I'm just bending ever so gently. All legs back, rather in. Seeing how they fit now onto the. It's a little bit more bending now. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's better. That's getting there. I think that's it. So I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. Just bed it properly. And now that the keyboard's off, gives me plenty of room to get all the way around. So I think that's looking pretty good. If I just show you that, it's nicely seated in. 
and it should just now be a question putting the battery in the battery holder. I'll, uh, I need to uh, attach the battery holder against perhaps some of these leads at the back and um, I'll need to um, isolate it so I'll put a bit of tape around it so it doesn't uh, it doesn't um, short anything um, and then put it all back together and we'll see how it tests hopefully the test on the front will uh, will show passes so uh, I'll put it back together now okay so I have uh, screwed this all back together put the key bed back and I've just done a quick job on the battery I'll secure that fully once I've tested this um, so if we close it up I can turn it on moment of truth and that looks good so if we now enter the uh, test mode I'll just have to put the camera down a second right, then. test mode are you sure yes we are so I'll just press yes and go through the test levels LCD LED 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here's the RAM test so this is one that failed citing IC20 last time there we go fantastic completed and we're fixed